Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the Road to the Final UEFA Champions League. Morgan Sanson, we're going to go through the player, his card, details and stats before we get into all of that. If I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below who you'd like to replace on the list with this player. It came from a comment which will pop up somewhere up there and without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I played Morgan Sanson's Road to the Final card in. Um, of course, I played him in a DM spot. I do think, however, first impressions of this card, guys, that this card isn't a traditional DM. I do, of course, think he is more of a central midfielder, able to do both the attacking and defending in your team, but especially on a budget, this card is a pretty decent card. Getting into the review, though, 5'11", high, high work rates, right-footed, first of moves, and four-star weak foot. Now, guys, the high, high work rates are decent, especially for a central midfielder. The four-star moves and four-star weak foot are very good as well, and it's nice having a player with some height in there as well. Well, six games played, one goal scored and two assists. I found this card to be quite a conductor in midfield and he was able to pick up a couple of assists. Maybe should have had more as well. But overall, I think uh, this card did do pretty well for me. In terms of the chemistry style, I put a shadow on him because he was playing in that defensive midfield spot. However, depending on where you do play this card and how you play this card, I think you can change up the chemistry style to suit how you want him to play as well. Getting into the, uh, into the stats, guys. The first thing that I would say is the stamina is 88. Now, for high, high work rates, I find this is a little bit low. I would like it to be in the 90s. Um, but overall, guys, for a card that costs 16k, I'm not going to complain too much about that. His passing is pretty good as well. 85 short pass, 86 long pass. So that's nice to have as well. And just in general, guys, I think this card is very decent at everything. Not very good, but just decent at everything. You know, he's able to dribble. He's able to pass. He's able to shoot, which is nice as well. The only thing I would say about his shooting is his finishing is a little low. But overall, not that much of, a, of an issue for me considering how many shots I did take with him, which wasn't that many. In terms of cons, guys, now, guys, I have to bear in mind that this card is 16k, and so therefore, in terms of cons, I'm not actually going to give you guys that many, if any. The only one I would say is, of course, that finishing. Other than that, guys, I really don't see the cons of this card. I mean, for 16k, you can't really complain too much. He's got completely green stats. The only player trait to speak of, guys, is the outside of the foot shot trait. Um, I would like something else in there, maybe a playmaker trait as well, considering his passing ability. But overall, guys, not going to, again, not going to complain too much because of his amazing price tag. Uh, now that we've covered all of that, we're going to get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, getting into some of Morgan Sanson's clips and what you guys are going to see here is generally his all-around play uh, that he had for me guys. Now there isn't too many clips guys and um, what I do want to say is that although I do feel like this card is pretty decent, he did feel out of his depth at this stage of the game, especially in divisions 3 and 2. Um, overall though guys, I would say that considering what price point he is at, the style of player that he is and what he could become. He did very well at holding his own uh, and playing his role in the team as well. I mean, and guys, another thing I have to mention as well is I played him a central defense midfielder. I don't think that's his best position. I think the central midfielder position is the best one, the one where he can go between the uh, defensive uh, play and the attacking play, and he's your transition player. Um, he's not the one to sit back, defend, and hold off the opponent's attacks. He's the one that you play alongside that strong defensive midfielder that you give the ball to, and then you can transition up the field with this card and try to create chances. So, with that in mind, guys, what I would say is that I found this card defensively very sound. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I like to think I'm a decent defender. Um, I really liked using this card and how he defended for me as well. And I thought he was really fantastic at just closing down the gaps, closing the spaces because of his size, his high, high work rates. He was running all around the pitch as well, making good tackles, um, stopping little runs here and there as well. And even just general aggression level, being able to run out with that size of player and try and slow down the attacks was really helpful as well. So guys, I do think overall that this card was a fantastic card and he played but he, for, again for his price tag which is 15 to 16k i think he played very well in these last few clips guys what you're going to see is his ability just to pass the ball really great passer and that was probably my favorite thing about him was he was able to just pass the ball with relative ease and create chances as well which was that was his second assist there and in this final clip here you guys are going to see the only goal he scored for me where he drives from the heart of midfield gets into that center back takes him on there and smashes it into the back of the net so guys getting to this final morgan sanson summary now guys 15k on the playstation 16.75 on the xbox 33 on the pc so quite a price differential there which is surprising there but without further ado let's get into this four star four star leaflet of course and in terms of the general stats guys this card plays really well especially when you have him on full cam in your team he goes into those 80 plus stats on everything um, which is nice to have as well with the right chemistry style and nice to always have a player that has a decent skill set a very varied skill set especially with those high high work rates the 88 stamina is a little bit low for me but overall i think it's manageable if you play put the right instructions on him you'll have a fine time with this card 
um overall guys i can't really pick out any cons as well for the price that he has at guys i keep saying it this card is really nice to pick up and stick in your team if you're doing a budget league and team in terms of the recommended chemistry style for me guys i would be looking to boost uh, elements of his defensive play and his pace especially considering that's the formation i would play so a shadow would be the one for me see what his pace goes to and his defending as well however guys it really does depend on where you play him in your team if you were to play him more as a central midfielder role then an engine may suit him best to boost that pace dribbling and passing however guys there's a whole bunch of ways that you can boost this card um i wouldn't say you should hold yourself off to those two there's of course many ways to do this a, a guardian may be a good option as well to give him that ability to move around in midfield and give him that boost in defending as well maybe a nice option to go with too in terms of similar player guys now i really think that um he's a very similar player to a bigger defender someone a bit taller someone more capable i do think he's a less capable version of delaney's inform card of course delaney's inform card a very good player i do think he's maybe just a less capable version of that um certainly not uh i think he's better than scott mctominay even though scott mctominay does have the very high physicality factor to him i do think that this morgan sanson is able to do a lot more in terms of just overall play driving through the attack and playing box to box as well next guys getting into the linkability factor he's of course got a lot of perfect links to that headliner amavi uh mandanda as well if you want to play him at center back um dimitri payet florian tovan as well but then we've got a bunch of strong links of course to loads of french icons uh french players as well such as Kylian mbappe kamavinga ben yedder of course guys if you're building on a budget then miss this maybe not be the level you're looking at so if we go a little further in of course you guys can see here kimpembe bamba camera these kind of players can all link into him strong links um so it's nice to have a french player in the french league because it does give you a lot of options with squad building as well um, in terms of overall sittings guys of course again sitting very low in comparison to a lot of players so i do think that this card is underrated especially for how much he's going for what league he's in what i think it's it's mainly down to the link ability guys because honestly this card does play better than he looks now he's a fairly solid midfielder not obviously a world beater but reasonable enough to put into any league and team and hold his own when you're working with a budget so therefore my recommendation would be pick up this card if you're doing a budget league and team uh he'll do the job for you and be able to hold his own in that team and you won't be disappointed with him you won't be particularly wowed with him either but he'll do his job nonetheless and keep things relatively simple in your midfield for you Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I will see you all in a bit.